Hi, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of Bluetooth speakers. We're going to be comparing a Bose Bluetooth to a Monster Bluetooth uh, speaker system. Uh, first, we're going to look at the, the Bose. It's the, uh, the SoundLink Mini. We've talked about this before. It's a little wireless uh, Bluetooth uh, device. It has audio input, 8th inch audio input, so you can run direct to it. Uh, it has onboard volume, uh, your linking button to switch to auxiliary. Great little unit. I've been using this an awful lot. Uh, as you, when you look online, you're going to see this has got some incredible uh, reviews. And truthfully, I've had it now for four or five months, and the only thing I, I wish it would be is, is just a little bit bigger, a little bit louder. But then there's times where, like traveling, we actually took this uh, on a trip with us to Las Vegas and used this as a sound system in a, um, in, a in a hospitality room. Worked very well. Um, again, a couple of things I really like about it. Not only the Bluetooth, that's great, a great battery life, but it has onboard volume control. Not a lot of Bluetooth uh, speakers are coming out with that. Uh, Price-wise, it's about 200 bucks. Um, that's the Bose Soundlight. And I'm comparing it to today, uh, a system from Mar uh, Monster, excuse me, no. the Monster system. It's a two-speaker system. They snap together to form this kind of, kind of a circular thing going on. Um, this is, I'll get the model, it's the BTW248 the BTW248 for Monster. What this is, is a battery uh, battery operator. It's got uh, lithium ion batteries in it, I believe is what it said. It can hand, it can go about seven or eight hours on a charge. Uh, both have rechargeable batteries in. What it does is that you, the cell phone or a Bluetooth device will talk to the first one, and then the first one will then beam the signal to the other one. Um, I think it's about a 5.8, uh, yeah, on a 5.8 uh, frequency, the cell phone frequency that we're all, all using. Or not a cell phone, but uh, house household phones. So it's kind of a cool concept. I really like that idea um, that you can go and, and hit one, and then you can actually jump farther because of using uh, the 5.8 uh, gigahertz frequency over Bluetooth. Because yeah, I think the distance was over 100 feet. Neat concept. Really like that. A couple of the downsides with uh, with the thing is well, of course, it can be used as two pieces. Neat. Um, but take a look at where the power plug is for this. When they're together, you can actually put the two together, and I'm not going to snap them together because they're a tight fit, but there's where the power cords are. So when they're together, it's you would want to run it as a full battery operated system. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch cameras here and bring you down here to the bottom, and you can see what what I mean by I'm not overly excited about the, this, is that when you set them down, is that the, the wire on the back right here, you can see it, it doesn't, it has to bend and put some real, really, really weird back pressure on so that the speaker will actually sit, sit flat. Um, you know, the wires, this would have been better, a good spot to put like a 90, a 90 degree uh, wire. And I suppose after the wires have been bent a little bit, but I'm not exactly excited because it's, it, again, it's putting pressure on that connection right there. You're, you're really pushing on that. That's not so excited about that. Uh, power switch on the back, so you can turn them on. They're not plugged in or anything right now. Um, and I've just been playing with them, so the battery could still be, still hasn't received a full charge. Uh, but kind of a cool idea. Um, I like the concept. Sound-wise, I'm going to switch you back. Actually, we'll just move this guy, move, move the sound link in there too, so you can see everything at, at once. Um, sound, sound quality. If you're comparing the Bose to the, the Monster, for the little size of the Bose, it has a much better bass response. It has a much better room filling sound. Um, it, it, I, I really, is, is, this is incredible. Uh, the Monster sounds good. Don't get me wrong; it, it does have a good sound, but it isn't. You know, we're talking we're talking a night and day difference between the two. Um, the advantage of the Monster is you can now put one in. You could go in two rooms if you wanted to, so you can have a wider sounder spread out over a distance. If that's important to you. Then the monster is definitely something you want to check out. Um, these are a Sam's uh, Sam's Club is where I picked up uh, picked up the uh, the the monster speakers, and of course so you can pick up the Bose uh, pretty much almost anywhere out there in the uh, in the world right now. But um, overall, if I had to choose, um, you know, one it's about a two hundred dollar, and I believe these were about one hundred and fifty. My recommendation: spend the extra fifty bucks and get the Bose, um, unless you need to have sound in two separate areas. I think the sound quality it is enough to to justify spending a little bit extra. You know, sound quality and the compact size, where I can literally put the cell phone in one pocket, I can put this in the other, and I can walk to any location. This isn't quite mobile. 
Um, the larger size doesn't give it, there, there isn't a superior bass response, there isn't a superior sound in any way, shape, or form. The really advantage of the monster is that you can have one in this room and one in that room, and you can have sound in two rooms with basically one price tag of 150 bucks. So anyway, that's the, the Bose Soundlink Mini. Comparing that to the Monster BTW 248, both wireless Bluetooth speakers. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.